Ah, look at these rocks. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Good morning! Welcome to our Odyssey! So, last night we packed up our van just off the border of Belgium. We're about two kilometers from the border of Belgium and um, we happen to be camping right near this really cool little town. So this morning just before we headed out on our day's adventure we thought we would uh, just show you this beautiful little place that we're camping next to. There's like huge walls surrounding this entire town and there's like these awesome little bridges that run into the town and this one is like got loads of flags around and flowers. So this whole town layout is designed around a single circle in the middle and then everything comes out from that like a star. It's known as a star fort and uh, it makes for a really pretty town. Here we are in the center of Rockroy and you can see in all directions there's just little streets coming off and each street ends at the fortification that surrounds the entire town. So it's a really charming little place to come and visit. It's really cool we were camped just outside of town. Chauffeur, Mr. Oliver. I drive us around all of the beautiful sites in Europe. <laughs> The place we're heading today is called Foundry des Chiennes or the Foundry of Dogs and it actually looks like a gorge but it's not a gorge it's actually a sinkhole and from what we can see it looks like a really beautiful place to visit so uh, I can't wait to go and see. Let's go! So we just arrived but we decided that we have a coffee first <laughs> because we saw the weather forecast and it said that um, the weather is good until five o'clock so that means we have still we have loads of time. loads of time so we have time for a coffee Poisson or soya <laughs> wow. the first time out in the nature of Belgium yeah. <laughs> Nice, and the sun is out as well. Yes, we saw the sun for a little bit. We got some blue skies. Yes. Oh, Brilliant. it's looking really good. And once again, it was forecast to be bad weather for like the whole day. And we were thinking, oh, is there any point in even starting and even coming here? But yeah, we've been lucky so far. So this path that we're on circles around the sinkhole um, and hopefully gives us some really nice views down into it.
definitely an epic, epic view here. Oh yeah, that's really cool. And there's loads of little lizards basking on all the rocks and they're all scurrying around when you walk. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, it's just like a load of forest around and then suddenly there's just this huge like <laughs> sinkhole in the middle of it. That's a, a really hidden gem, a really impressive place. <laughs> So we're just going to take a walk around the top now and uh, just go and check out the views from every angle. Yes. So here is the hypothesis of how this uh, formed and acidification in the limestone rock underneath caused it to decay and disappear leaving large chambers under the soil and um, eventually eventually those chambers collapsed and uh, that's what formed these sinkholes apparently I mean it's all in French but I'm just going by the pictures <laughs> okay we're heading down into the sinkhole I'm not going further. <laughs> oh Paradise. I like it a lot. It's like a really a place of exploration. Go through all these little passageways, these little caves. Seems like a really good place for rock climbers as well. <laughs> Levy's turned into a rock climber. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Up to the top. Whoa! Well, this is definitely a small adventure to be here. It's really an epic place. Yeah, it's like a bouldering paradise. You just can do so much climbing and scrambling over the rocks. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're just going to walk a few kilometers this way now on this trail. And uh, this will take us to a little lookout so that we can have a look at the surrounding area. Here are very, very many places to pitch up tents, <laughs> you can see flat spots kind of everywhere, so if you want to go on a camping trip, I think here you would find a lot of nice peaceful places. Yeah, just pitch the tent right there in between the trees. Yeah, yeah. It's really beautiful to be out here in the forest again, I really missed it. This park here is called the Viroin Hermiton Natural Park. And uh, where we're heading up now is called La Roche au Faucon. Mm -hmm. And it has apparently a really nice view of the surrounding area. So we've just got to climb up here and go and check it out. Yes. The view at the top from La Roche au Faucon.
Very nice. Apart from that you can see a massive quarry on the other side. Yeah. I mean, it's quite striking, but still. Yeah, what is really nice that you can see their forest for for miles and miles. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, so far our first impressions of Belgium after only getting 20 minutes over the border. Really, really nice. Very nice, yeah. Very cool. On our way down. Look, we just have to descend into the forest. Oh my God. Okay, so the rain just started. It was forecast all day, but it's just here. So now we have to make our way quickly back to the van. It's really starting to rain now. So we're just coming up to the van, but we really need to hurry because it's starting to come on strong. Okay, we're running now. We did not bring our raincoats. This is the van. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. We have uh, found a pretty nice place to make camp for the night. So this is a small fishing lake in front of us. And uh, it's like a very rural fishing lake area. Mm -hmm. Fishing lakes kind of everywhere. Yeah. And there's a little car park here, which we found on iOverlander. And seems really nice and peaceful here. So we've uh, driven up to northern Belgium now. We actually wanted to visit this town called Dinant uh, because we saw the pictures and it was quite near the area that we were at before. Mm -hmm. um, but then we looked on the news and saw that the whole place was completely flooded. There's been huge downpours in the region mm -hmm. and the river completely burst its banks and there's been cars flowing down the street. So we thought it was probably good to give that place a miss or the whole area a miss. So we've just continued up to Northern Belgium. We actually stopped by this really cool little sculpture art piece, which was like a little church called Dorkich Kirkje or Dorkich Kirk. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's actually in Flemish, um, but in English it's called Reading Between the Lines. And that was quite a cool place to visit as well. but we had so far a really great time here. We were a little bit sad that we just have actually two days to stay here. The nature was incredible. Uh, because we were only passing through, we just had to pick a few places to mm -hmm. go and see. Yeah. And uh, I think we picked a really nice place. It was a really unique place to go and I've never seen a landscape like it. So yeah, definitely worth a visit. Yeah, definitely. And this place here looks amazing as well. Here are actually no houses around us. So we are surrounded by trees and there's a lake. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> so we're just going to call it a night and head to bed now. Yeah, exactly. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks guys. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>